The most underrated and overlooked piece of film equipment is definitely a tripod. And I've just changed the one that I am going to be using across all of my shoes. Let me tell you why I'm going to pick this tripod of my other tripods, what makes it so good, and how its price stacks up against its competitors. Stick around and I'm going to tell you why this may actually be the ultimate investment for any filmmaker. Let's start with what kind of cameras this tripod can be used with. Well, to answer that a little bit simpler, let's think of it as where you are in your filmmaking journey. Lately, we have seen some really cool and affordable tripods hitting the market. This is great for us as consumers as it makes manufacturers compete and battle to make that really competitive, reasonably priced tripod. What I believe SCG have tried to do here with this tripod is go further up that ladder to get to the very top of those tripods on sale today steal those features and bring them back down for a much more reasonable price. That makes this tripod designed for someone who is looking to maybe upgrade their current tripod. You may have found some limitations with the current one you're using or you've had it for many, many years now and you're just in need of a new tripod. It offers some really cool features for its price point. But before we get into that, if you could kindly hit that subscribe button, I'm still a really small YouTube channel in my first year of creating videos. So every singular sub truly is appreciated. All right, let's get into the good stuff. This tripod is from a company called SCG. I will put a link in the description below where you can explore their website and look at all their tripod legs and fluid heads. SCG did send me this tripod, but as always, they do not get any input in this video, no money exchange hands, and they'll be seeing this video at the exact same time as you do. As you can see here, it arrives in some really high quality packaging. It does come with a carry bag. This is comparable with most other tripod bags from like mid to high end tripods. The tripod itself feels extremely well made. It is entirely metal. There is very minimal plastic on this tripod other than the legs, what are carbon fiber. And this is very important as every single pound adds up when it comes to tripod. I also really love the locking design on the legs. They're a full metal construction and kind of oversized so you can get your hand around them to get them nice and tight really easily. The fluid head I have here is the T8. And for me, this is the absolute star of the show. It is the very top of SCG's lineup and it is a 75 millimeter ball head. This is probably the most versatile size as you can always adapt 75 to 100 millimeter when needed. It is a fluid drag system with three steps of adjustability on pan and also a separate three steps on tilt. And the main feature of this head is counterbalance. For someone who has not used or seen a counterbalance tripod head before, just imagine a seesaw at a park. If we apply the same weight to both sides of that seesaw, we suddenly get a counterbalance where the motion of the seesaw is much smoother. So when balanced properly, if you let go of your counterbalance tripod head, your camera should remain exactly in place, even if it's tilted at an angle. The counterbalance on this T8 head is rated from one kilogram to eight kilograms. This works great for me all the way from my S5 II with a mirrorless lens on or my Blackmagic cinema camera with a mirrorless lens on all the way up to my Ursa Mini Pro with like a cine zoom and a heavy V mount on the back. Moving down the tripod, SCG allows you to choose whether you want a mid spreader depending on your use case. The one I have here is a mid spreader as I tend to do more location work than say studio work or indoors. At the bottom, we have for me personally, the best tripod feet I have ever used. They're quite unusual in design. They're like these bright red circular round shapes. I would describe them as a large metal disc. However, in functionality, they are excellent. They really help prevent where your tripod foot does not sit properly. I always describe this on set as like a Michael Jackson foot as I just don't know how else to describe this. So if this has a proper name, you can pull off the feet to reveal spikes. You have two spikes on every leg, giving us six spikes in total. Now let's talk about weight. The legs I have here are called the Stead Light Carbon Fiber. These are the balanced legs, giving you a balance between what they weigh and the weight you can put on them. 
They also do some lighter legs called the Stead Sleek and also some heavier legs called the Stead Solid. So you can get the legs that are just right for your needs. The combo I have here with the TA Ed and the Stead Light Carbon Fiber legs come in at 10 pounds in weight. With the legs themselves being rated to hold up to 20 kg and the counterbalance on the head goes up to 8 kg, I think weighing only 10 pounds is a really reasonable weight. You can tell when using this tripod that it has been really well thought through from a user perspective. It is extremely smooth when panning and tilting. And recently I took this tripod along on a shoot and two of the crew members did mention how it was one of the smoothest tripods they had ever used. And I also personally stand by that statement. The design of this thing is great. It comes with a tripod plate with this cool little mechanism that avoids you from losing your tripod screws. And it also works with all the Manfrotto plates that I have tried with it. It has these bright red accents on the locking screw and locking button that loads your camera in and out. This is to stop you from accidentally pressing it and causing any unwanted accidents. You can also mount your camera straight top down or slide the plate in from the back, which is also a very welcome feature. It has two holders for spare screws for when you need them. One side is a 3 8 and the other side is a 1 4 It also has a built-in leveling bubble what illuminates when you press the button and this is one of the brightest I've ever used. The pan and tilt locks are in all the normal places so anyone who's used any kind of mid to high tripod before this will feel really familiar soon as you get it out of the box and start using it. The handle works on both sides depending on which hand you want to use. It has this nice rubber grip on it and the build quality matches all the rest of the tripod. The max height is 1.5 meters which is plenty high enough before you need a jib and the minimum height is 39 centimeters, but this is for the legs without the head included and with the leg spreader set to open. In real world terms, this is really usable. And one super cool feature is that when you're packing the tripod away, anyone who's experienced this before knows exactly what I'm on about, but normally the rubber handle off a foot of a tripod catches when you're trying to lock the bottom leg. What they've done here is they've really thought about it and the leg stops just with enough distance away to make sure that the rubber handle does not get in the way as you are tightening that bottom leg. For making it this far into the video, I want to give you a little tip my grip friend gave me recently. If you have not already seen these, they are game changing. They are electronic hand warmers. You charge them via USB-C, you get one for either hand, and you can just hold them in your hands or place them in your pockets. Here in the UK is the middle of winter and our on location shoots are freezing. So just having a pair of these in your pockets are absolutely amazing. These are really affordable so I'll drop a link in the description just in case you have any cold shoots coming up. Right, let's talk about price. You can buy this head and leg combo from SCG's website for 846 USD. Now for carbon fiber legs with a counterbalance head, this pricing is really competitive. To put that into perspective, if you wanted to pick up the Manfrotto Nitro Tech 608, which is basically their own counterbalance head, and you wanted to put some carbon fiber legs on that, you would be looking at a minimum of 1200 USD. So I think with the great build quality, features and pricing that SCG have managed to pull off here, they're actually onto a real winner. As always with my product reviews, I try to find as many negatives as I can. But to be fair, it's been really difficult for this tripod. As I mentioned in the intro, tripods are one of the best investments any filmmaker can make. And going cheap on a tripod is like one of the most common beginner filmmaker mistakes I see happen. If I had to be super picky, I don't like the feel of the logos on the leg spreaders in the center. They feel a bit cheap and maybe could wear over time quite easily. Something else to note that could be a negative is a lot of tripod manufacturers are copying the Flowtech system from Sackcloth. And this is basically where you have one locking system to change the height of both legs, speeding it up and making it much easier. I do own the small rig free blazer tripod that does have this system. But when it comes to this SCG tripod, it's just a step above in smoothness, build quality, and that small rig tripod does not have a counterbalanced head. I guess I could put the TA SCG head 
onto those small rig legs. But to be fair, the extra build quality and those amazing feet, for now, I'm just going to stick with the way things are. The only problem now is we need to figure out what camera to place on that tripod. Watch this video right here to figure that out. 